Well, good Friday morning to you. This is Preacher Scott from New Home Baptist Church coming to you with a word of devotion on this Friday morning. I didn't plan it this way, but you can see the sun coming up behind us. I've been doing some duck hunting this morning, and I'll pan out and let you see the pond here in front of, of me. And you might can see on the far end down there, there's five ducks swimming around. I don't know if they'll come this way or not. They're hooded meganders, beautiful ducks. They've been here since uh, probably about 7.15. So they've been here about 45 minutes flying around. And as I was paying attention to these ducks, although they're beautiful creatures, <clears throat> the daily limit on them is two per day and they're really not real good to eat so we don't kill many of them but we love to see them nonetheless but as they came in there's four males and only one female and we're coming up to the breeding season and these males have been really showing out <clears throat> trying to make an appearance in front of this female and earlier they have been fighting and cackling and kind of growling under their breath at one another chasing one another when one would dive under the water others would they would dip their heads down and come back and they've got a real pretty cone on the back of their head they'd kind of get that smoothed out and then they would fluff their arms up and stand up on the water just trying to make an appearance for this female and and show that they might be the dominant male for her to to come alongside of and and really vying for her affection. And as I was watching that, I, I, I've been thinking, you know, the last little while there's, there's more messages going out on, on Facebook and YouTube and all different types of social media, uh, more messages for the Lord going out there. And I pray that you're taking time to not only watch our message, but maybe others, but we as pastors, we're trying to vie for your affection. We want you to to come alongside of us and, and we value your presence and and we love to see you click those likes and and it makes us feel good as we have more and more subscribers and more and more people watching the messages. But you know, that's not what it's about. It, it troubles me when I do a message on Wednesday night and just a few folks watch it, you know, as you put that together. But that's not what it's all about. Just like our witnessing if only one picks up the message, if only one comes to know Christ as Savior, then we've done all we can do. So I want to caution uh, you guys out there that are pastors like myself, let's don't put so much emphasis on the numbers. Let's put so much more emphasis on the hearts and the lives that, that may be changed in accordance to God's Word. And I did bring my tripod with me this morning and I did have uh, plans to, to come to you with a word of devotion, not really knowing exactly what scripture God may lead me to. But as I sat here, I began to think about the scripture verse in John chapter 12, verse 22. And it says, basically, Jesus is telling the people, where I be lifted up, I draw all men unto me. In that scripture passage, Jesus is getting close to the time of his death, and he knows that he's going to be uh, portrayed as a, as a blasphemous man and he's going to walk that long road carrying that cross to Golgotha. And as he's there trying to get in his mindset what is to occur, he knows that God is in control. Just as we know that God is in control today and I brought everything with me but some glasses but I want to, to read these scripture verses to you and I pray that I can can do it in a way that's meaningful to you and not be focused on the numbers. But some people came and they wanted to see Jesus and they told uh, Peter and Philip that we would like to see Jesus and they took them to him. And then this is where we pick up the story. Now is my soul troubled and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour, but, if this, but for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it sounded like thunder. And others said as angels had spoken to him. And Jesus answered, the voice has come for your sake and not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people 
to myself. So friend, it's not about you and I, it's about drawing people to Christ. And I pray that these messages that are going out in the midst of this pandemic, when we can't meet in our own churches, when we can't really worship corporately together, we can continue to get Jesus' name out there that all men may be drawn unto him. You know, the Bible says in John 3, 16, these words, and you know them very well. For God sent his one and only son, his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So I pray that our focus is not upon the messages. It's not upon the numbers. It's not upon the subscribers, but it's upon those who do not know Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. And I pray that each and everything that we do on a daily basis can help draw others unto him. I'm going to pan back out as we close in a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your love. We thank you for creation and all the things that you give us to enjoy. Lord, I enjoy immensely just getting out in nature early in the morning. And although I didn't take any ducks today, I had a wonderful time. And I seen the glorious creation that you have given us, dear God. Lord, I pray that you'd bless this Friday for all of us. Keep us in your will at all times. For those suffering from the virus, Lord, I pray that your mighty hand of the mighty physician would touch them and heal their bodies, dear God. Let them know that others out here are praying for them. And we long to see the time that we can worship together in your house. But as for now, as the messages keep going out, our prayer is that the lost will come to you, that we will do something today that will draw other men unto you. All these things we ask in the wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all God's people said, Amen. God bless you. Hope you have a great Friday.